EMC Networker offers the ability to manage end-to-end -end snapshot and backups from a single management interface. This is the Networker Management Console. The configuration wizards within the Networker Management Console are wizard-driven and include auto-discovery and population. The advantage here is that the Networker Administrator does not have to have in-depth knowledge or know a great deal about the array that is being managed. Prior to creating a Networker client, the Networker Administrator will simply need to know that the storage admin has completed the prerequisites and configured the array to support the appropriate snapshots. What you're seeing here is a screenshot showing that the snapshot LUNs on the VNX have already been configured by the storage administrator. The first step for the network administrator is to launch the network management console and use a client configuration wizard. This is the same workflow for all clients. So we do new client and then we simply add the client name. We're choosing to do a traditional backup, which is different from an NDMP or a VMware backup. The next step is to configure the backup type. The wizard will automatically detect the applications that are loaded on the client. Within this screen, the networker administrator can see that the storage admin has configured snaps only for the file systems on this client. Enabling snapshot management is made easy by simply selecting the box within the wizard. The snapshot management feature will support a variety of EMC arrays as well as the snapshot technologies. In this environment, I want to do a snapshot of a VNX. And you're going to see that the mirror types are pre-populated, and those are the mirror types supported by the VNX. As with all other clients, I have the ability to do client direct. The value here is that the data will flow directly from the client to the storage target. Deduplication is also an option. If I would have had a data domain in my environment, I would have been able to leverage the integrated deduplication that occurs on the data domain device as well as client-side deduplication. The wizard will provide a list of file systems configured for the appropriate snapshots and backup. The value here is that we can be very granular and flexible in the configuration and choose only the file systems that need to have snapshot data protection. The client property screen allows me to define the retention policies for my snapshots and backups as well as the schedule. The policies and backup schedules are resources that were defined previously within the networker management console. Within the backup group screen, we have the flexibility to use an existing backup group or create a new group. I'm going to choose a new group and the wizard will automatically create the group during the client creation process. Due to business or compliance requirements, each snapshot may have a different set of policies. For example, the retention policy, meaning how long the catalog information should reside within Networker. Like a group, if I choose to create a new policy, the wizard will take care of doing this for me. However, for this demo, I am going to use a pre-configured policy. The next step is to review the client information. Also notice the snapshot validation option. It's valuable to run this now before creating the client because it will validate that the configuration is accurate. You can modify the configuration before creating the client if necessary. The pop-up box will indicate that the configuration is valid. I create the client and select finish to complete the client configuration wizard. Another value to using the Client Configuration Wizard is that the snapshot commands are automatically created. This means that no scripting is required by either the Storage Administrator or the Networker Administrator. In the previous step, I created a new group, which I will now use to kick off my backup. Monitoring the process is very easy. We do this within the monitoring screen of the Networker Management Console. What you will see is that the management console shows the snapshot activities as well as the backup activities for this backup job. Now it's also very important to be able to quickly recover from the snapshots. So I will step through using the recovery UI to recover from the snapshot backup that we just created. I will choose to create a new recovery from the recovery UI. So I hit recover, new recovery, and then I select the client that I want to recover from. Now here's another value to the wizard. The wizard recognizes that various backup types have been taken for this client. 
and I want to recover from the snapshot. The wizard allows us to restore to the same or an alternate client. All the snapshots that have been completed for this client are provided by the wizard. This brings value in that the administrator can choose a specific point in time recovery. The save sets can be mounted on a destination client or on the client that was used for the backup. Once the save set is mounted, the administrator can be very granular about what is recovered. The value here is that an entire save set or an individual item within that save set can be restored. The wizard provides the option to recover files to the original or another location. Plus, the administrator can choose to rename or override the items during the recovery process. The wizard now asks me for the name of the recovery. This is valuable because each recovery is saved and can be rerun or modified at any time. There's an option to use calendar-based scheduling to run the recovery at a later time. I'm going to choose to recover now. Once the recovery starts, I can view the progress within the monitoring section of the Network or Management Console. Now this is the same monitor that I used for the backups. Upon completion, the monitor section will show the job is 100% successful, and the log view will indicate the same. In this demo, you've seen the value of using Networker Snapshot Management Wizard to create a backup that contains all of the necessary configurations and commands without any scripting required. Plus, the Networker Management Console Wizard makes it very easy to recover from the snapshots. All of these tasks are done by the Networker Administrator through the Networker Management Console, and the Networker Administrator likely has very little knowledge of the storage array that is being managed.